My dear students, this is your teacher, Dima Abu Sharikh, your English language teacher. And this is an introductory video of Unit 1 entitled Generations. First of all, I am going to tell you uh, about the description of our unit. In this unit, we are going to investigate what one generation can learn from another generation. And we're going to consider how knowledge flows between age groups. What can seniors learn from teachers? What can Generation Z learn from seniors? And so on. We are going to read a variety of texts. We are going to explore different genres regarding our main topic. We are going to watch videos, we're going to view media, and we are going to discuss the essential question of the unit and have uh, different uh, discussions uh, and different, and show our point of view in different topics regarding generations. We're going to integrate our lessons with social studies. We're going to explore uh, age groups in the Jordanian context and how can generations help each other in the future and in um, in making a better future of the country, of the people in Jordan regarding the population and how population is becoming different day by day. We are going to integrate our lesson with art and we are going to um, to show how different perspectives between generations can generate different and new and unique art. Now, we're going to look at the statement of inquiry. First of all, the key concept of this unit is perspectives and we are going to concentrate on point of view. The global context is identities and relationships, identity formation, role modeling. How does that happen within generations? The statement of inquiry for this unit is that a character's identity formation and perspective may change when generating new relationships. Do you think that uh, having new relationships with different generations can change or can form a new identity, a new perspective, a new point of view of a person uh, or not? We're going to discuss that more. Now I would like to talk about our summative assessment. Our summative assessment for this unit is to write a non-fiction narrative. And you are going to be assessed uh, based on criterion B, criterion C, and criterion D. You are going to be assessed upon your organization of the text, on producing texts with accuracy, uh, on the way you use the language, and you will find the rubrics on uh, the unit page. For sure, there will be formative assessments, ongoing assessments within the English classes, and you are going to be assessed upon your assignments as well, upon your uh, participation in class. That's going to be all. I can't wait to start this unit with you. Um, good luck for everyone, and I would love to hear your points of view uh, on different topics that we are going to discuss in this unit. Thanks a lot.